Hello, everybody. It's Steve. Welcome back to Surviving Mars Below and Beyond. Last video had a bunch of dredgers come down, caused quite a bit of havoc, but I did destroy about two dozen of them, so I got a fresh infusion of cash coming my way. I do want to do an outsourcing right now. I'll go ahead and do that now. And the video may have jumped a little bit between the last one and this one, and the reason simple. I was recording this video, and the power supply, the UPS that I have my computer hooked up to, uh, decided, nope, I'm done and quit about 20 minutes in. So I've got to like go back and kind of remember what I did into that first attempt for this video and then kind of replicate it a little bit. So it's actually making some pretty good progress here. Um, I'm almost done with the excavator. Got that going right now and also started building up some extra moxies to address my lagging O2 production. Also got some extra tanks out here for that stuff. I got some extra fuel production going in over here and I do actually need to slap down e-fuel storage. Now for this, because I know I'm going to need fuel. I'll put that right there. It's going to be happy little fuel storage. I do also have a drone hub here dedicated just to operating this site. I'm going to bring its uh, radius in just a little bit. Now we'll shut down here. Solar panel shut down due to maintenance issues. That's fine. I eventually will probably put down some scrubbers down this way to make sure that everything gets done up. I'm still doing trades for concrete right now until I can get this guy up and running. Uh, this guy's finished. And I do have my RC transport bringing down uh, some metal that could be used to finish off the excavator and get that up and running. Uh, also, need to start getting this project back up and running. So I'm going to turn all these smart apartments back on, turn both large nurseries back on. I'm actually going to turn the dome on itself. Uh, let's go ahead, turn the medical center up and running. Got this going. Yeah, we'll just keep those uh, traits right now for colonists. And also get some stuff in here for people to do and things of the like. In here, so we're gonna start off with a diner, retro cinema, and I've got enough for an electronic store, but I think I'm gonna go for an art store here, and I'll explain why in a sec. I'm just gonna do a small grocer down here, small art store here, and then a water recycler right there to fill out that little triangle. Also got some more mock or. Uh, moisture vaporators I can do, so I'll do that here in a second. I need to put a large plague or a large garden in here. That's gonna address the needs for the kids that are gonna be moving into this dome. And I think a gym would be a good option here. Okay, let's get the electronic store down. So now we've got people living here, we're starting to address the issues that the colonies had previously. Since I got a school spire, I probably want to do a Marsh University. I actually got a prefab for that. For the sponsor goal of actually building this thing. This actually got me, plus the electronics factory and the metals factory, a machine parts factory that actually got me what I needed there. I'm gonna turn this off, so now we're just gonna be doing ostriches out of these guys all the time. Slight deficit on power right now, and I can address that here momentarily. Excavator is up and running, so I'm now getting my own concrete production locally. That's nice. Uh, let's see, you're all palm bladed. You're up and running. You're up and running. Yeah, you're up and running. And over here, you're running operating two, but you're not going full beans, are you? Yeah, we can actually go up to 75. But I don't think I need to go super, super duper with it. So I'm actually just going to keep this down around 45. It just needs to heat this area, I think. And it's still going to be increasing the temperature of the planet at the same rate, no matter how much or how little you're putting into it. Research-wise, got the water conservation system going because I definitely want to make sure that I'm uh, re minimizing how much water I'm using at all times. Gravity engineering going right now, microfusion, factory amplification, nuclear fusion. I'm going to move nuclear fusion up just a little bit. Because if I do have unemployment, I can actually put engineers in those until I get the eternal fusion upgrade up, up and running. Downstairs. Let's pop over into here now. We got some drones operating over here. And over here, we are still short on power. Just tell me to get some polymers. I got 43 polymers over here. Sweet! Ah, yes. Now I remember I was doing this in the last video. Um, I actually did get this hooked up on my first attempt on this video and was starting to light up the underground before my computer died. So, I got that going for me too. This dome, I don't need to get it up and running right away, but I kind of do want to get it up and running right away. I also want to make sure I've got this large universal depot is loaded with everything I need for any trays that I want to do. I'm doing metal for poly or metal for concrete right now. I'll probably do polymers for concrete here now. See if I can get anything a little bit better with this. So we'll do polymers. 
see if we can get anything better than, like, I think it was 70 was in the last rocket. Let's see what I get here. 131? I'll take that. And I think I was planning on making this a farm dome. Or at least ranches. Because for ranches, you don't need to have specialists in it. And for farms, you do need to have botanists. And did I get the... Yeah, I did. And it's been so long since I've actually like checked in on some of these buildings. Need to make sure I've got stuff going for them. But yay, excavator doing the excavating things. And then we'll go over to here. Get a large dumping site. We're going to put... Let me happy little dumping sites. Put that there. So it's going to allow me a little more space to do things. If I do want to kind of recycle these guys, I can demo this rock formation and rebuild it. Because when you demo it, you only get half of the amount you put into it. So I paid two fifty for it. I can demo it and get one hundred twenty-five back. Research complete. Water conservation system is done. You saw that number jump from four to eight on that and I do now have enough going with this I'll go ahead and restart the expand mole project this factory is online goody 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 you're operating good you're operating but not a night bad and you're offline let's go ahead and turn you back on this guy I don't really need I'll go ahead and turn him on just to kind of supplement the polymer factory I've been running over here now look at on this dome we actually got people moving into the dome, which is good. Uh, medical spire, holographic scanner. How many kids born in this dome so far? One. Yeah, I'm working on it. Well, let's see what the comfort is over here. 68. Buildings not supplied with resources. How they, okay, now people getting people complaining that the, build, the shopping and gaming building is full. So actually, this is zero in there. It's a stop work shift. So understandable. Like if you've ever gone to an Apple store and it's just chock a block full of people. I totally get not wanting to go in there. I've been there. Actually, I was in the Apple Store last week. Oddly enough, my uh, Power Beats are starting to die, and apparently they have a planned obsolescence after like three years. A little bit of a pain in the butt there. these guys going. Hygroscopic coating all on these guys. Let's go ahead and factory AI these as well. I could actually put down shuttle hubs in this area if I chose, because um, I could build polymers out here. I do have the rare metals to make the... Ooh, wait, hang on. Dare I? I believe I do dare. And I know this mystery is not over yet, so I'm fully cognizant that there's more coming. Hang on, let me, let me double this up actually correctly. Damn. Okay. Those guys are going to get dusted if I do this. What the hell? Let's do it like that. This will actually give me the electronics I need. Watch what happens. Alright. I mentioned these factories are kind of like bunk in the late game because you have better factories be, uh, available to you like manned factories but if I do that that's not the way I want to have it oriented so if I do an automated factory like that then another automated factory like this then a scrubber right between them resources are low yeah they are low but it's also because I'm expanding the molehole mine but if I can get this built, and then probably slap in another scrubber right here to kind of bridge the gap between the two, I should, keyword, be okay. But if I'm making the electronics over here for these things, and I can actually build a shuttle, like a, just a set of shuttle hubs over here maybe, or even expand out and do water farms out here. Not a terrible idea. I like what I'm doing. I like what I'm seeing so far with this. Auto save going down. Hey, where the hell were you when I was having problems with this game last time? Um, do one more trade, and I think I'm done uh, trading for concrete after this. Uh, machine parts, they're just going to be running low. It's going to be very lean on machine parts until we get through this. That, that's just the long and short of it. Plenty of stuff over here. Everything else is shut down. Again, nano refinement is going to get this entire facility back up and running. That's kind of the point of it. All right, checking back in on this dome. How many kids now? Two kids born. All right, we're getting there. But also, we're starting to see that in superior education. Chance to create geniuses. Helpful. 
We only have one in the colony right now. Oh, I love that. 2183. And those two factories have to be up and running. For no, they're not. Huh. Turn you off. Ah, that's what I remember doing in the last video, too. My first attempt. Let's put some turbines down here. I'm not too worried about... Um, Uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? About power storage, because I've got enough power being produced to make stuff happen. Okay, but dust devil must have just gone through here, because that's a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff that just needed maintenance on an emergency basis. Dredgers detected. Ah, here we go. Red alert. We have a massive object converging with Mars on a collision course. Our readings confirm that this is a dredger, but its size, there's no mistake, unfortunately. If we leave this massive dredger unchecked, it could have a disastrous impact on our metal supply. On the other hand, our tactical advisor supposes that the arrival of this new dredger may be caused by the threat our actions proved for the aliens' mining operations. At the end, the decision was that how we address this new situation was obvious. Just when we thought we survived the worst, a huge dredger will land on Mars within five souls. And where, which, uh, where are we going here? All right, she's coming down over here. Let's get the welcome wagon out. And it could be here in about three days. I'll make it work. All right, get away for this last one to be built before I off. Uh, ooh, I got, oh, I got Holy Dome, too. I do like the Holy Dome event. Um, how many religious colonists do we have, actually, before we do this? Uh, let's see. Quirk? Nope. Perk. We've got quite a few religious colonists. 71 of our colonists are listed as religious. Out of my 266. Mm, I'm actually going to do... Mars is for... I'm actually going to do the second one. All of just get a morale penalty, but everybody else gets a morale boost. Um, if I was training religious in the schools, I would actually go for the first one. But since I didn't have it set, I'm actually not going to. It kind of sucks, uh, that one. Because I may actually, I might generate some renegades with this, unfortunately. Um, but if it was if it was more than 50%, I would absolutely be like, all right, let's do that. And now that we got this guy up and running, the artifact is powered. I'm going to go ahead and assign all these drones over to this. I'm also going to start lighting up the underground. This is what I was talking about. Since the artifact can actually reach pretty much everything in the underground without a problem, you can see where the drones are actually like swarming through, how they're creating their little, little spe uh, specks of light as they travel. But with all the polymers I've got scattered around here, I can easily move stuff around. Or I can easily just set this all up. Plus also, the drones down here no longer require maintenance. You. Oh, I guess it's the ones that are hooked up to the uh, artifact itself. Never mind. I'll do one more down here. And the whole thing is I can eventually light the entire underground with that Resources stuff. Are low. Why am I over here? Uh, I'm going to reject that just so I can... There we go. Wow, I was in a complete wrong sector for that one. Uh, you've got a bunch of drones assigned to you. Is there anything else I can go do right now? Not really. Go back to Earth, please. All the drones just got reassigned. So now, this RC can, my welcome wagon has 20 drones assigned to him. I could reassign them wherever I need to very quickly. Meteor incoming. Show me. You don't care. Just don't. Alright, so we get 30 up for that. I'm getting the megadomes built up. Factory amplification is gonna be needed. I also need to get these two done up too. Core heat convector will definitely in rapidly increase. Um, when I'm gonna be needing to get this uh, to get a terraforming up and running, and I'm planning on terraforming this entire thing. What I haven't planned yet, and I'm recording this on super early on Sunday morning, is whether or not there's gonna be a Frostpunk two content. Um, You'll probably know the answer to this by the time this video comes out because I have probably made the decision between the time I'm recording this and when this video comes out. 
But I do like the idea of maybe putting some Frostpunk 2 beta stuff out. Electrostatic dust storm approaching. Yay, more problems. Okay, he is not in the base for that. Okay, I got. I actually got to put it here. Just so I can get coverage of all of them, unfortunately. I wanted to have that one right, right like in a, a spice where I can actually utilize it. So let's factory upgrade these guys. I'm not going to amplify these guys, and this one actually isn't even on because I didn't uh, fix it. Let's go ahead and switch that just so I can hear the bam, bam, bam of the dang thing. I'm just going to keep that guy up and running. I like it. The dust storm is going to alleviate power problems very quickly, but this, uh, this dredger is going to get here well before that. Right, got that going. Paul is running a little lean right now. What are we? What's our production right now? Right, the dome. And over here. We'll do a little trick to take care of the rocks right here, so. Let me pull some of these drones off of this. This guy has got a bunch. I'm gonna bring him down to 30. I'm also unpack these guys. You can see how fast they just have to bring the waste rock over. Just, yeah, just to clean this site up a little bit. Alright, Twilight Garden. There we go. Look at that comfort jumping into the 70s right now. Four kids born over here. 56 kids born over here. Yeesh. Got a baby boom going. Alright. School's going good. School's going good. Holographic scanner. The hospital's doing Funding very well. Received. And it's got like an advantage compared to the medical center is that this building holds 12. The medical center, the spire holds 16. It does take up, you know, relatively important space. Let's make sure this is being maxed out too. I think I did that with this one. There we go. Minus 212 during the daylight. In the second shift. That's going to be a problem for me. We're not fully discharging everything. Did I get my... No, I didn't. Microfusion still has not been researched. It's also doing outsource. Artificial sun would solve a lot of problems too. I do think, like with the Omega Telescope, I gotta find a good spot, a suitable spot to put it. The artificial sun would work over here, just kind of have, having it away from the colony, but also having it near the colony. Like up here, maybe having the train tracks going around it, because eventually I'm gonna build up this way. I want to, and I want to connect it via train also. Um, I do think that'd be kind of fun. to see if there are any other big deposits that I want to get my hands on. I mean, down here there's some decent deposits, but... Okay, so Blue Lantern is the name of this dome. And let's go ahead. Passage ramp. We're going to come out this way with it. Right, i gotta go, I got to come like, out like that. There we go. So somebody who is going to like use this, I forgot to turn this thing on by the way, so people actually cannot use this because it's off at the moment. So you'd come off the conveyor belt here and then turn around and go onto this one uh, to get it done up. That'll, that'll work. Alright, Meteor Storm also coming in because why the hell not? Let's do everything we can to kill me simultaneously. This dome is online, so I'm not worried about power problems. It's more I'm worried about dying problems. Trying to make sure I've got a decent coverage on everything here. Yeah, I got very poor coverage down here. Research complete. Megadome is now available. So Megadome probably gonna go right here. Let's also demo that rock formation just to get some of that waste rock out of the way. Because I could go like Megadome, 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 one, two, three, and just connect off the, the uh, three second. I actually can connect six, right. But if I only do three, it should be okay. Oh, little one's awake. Let me deal with this real quick. And also, the Mega Leviathan just landed, so let's go ahead and start this process. And oh, it's called a Dreadnought. Dredgenaut. Ah, yeah. That's kind of cool. 
I think the little one has fallen back asleep, or falling back asleep, so I'm just gonna keep on going with this. Max out your radius. Meteor incoming. Show me. Yeah, that one's fine. That that can be rebuilt. But also note, there's no coverage for these things because I don't have the need to have them out here. Um, also, the de-dusting will take care of a lot of it. I'll go ahead, I'll get it all squared away. Just so that the Leviathan is being worked on as well. On, on, off, 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 turn off. Go down here to the welcome wagon. Alright. So the drones are working on... The welcome... The welcome Wagon's drones are working to take care of this. I think I'm just going to stay here for the moment, because that dust storm is probably going to be done. That's a big freaking machine, mind you. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I got eight drones working on it right now. Research complete. Boom. Oh, wow. A lot of stuff here. We all watched as the dredger collapsed into a blazing inferno. A spectacular end. While some at Mission Control cheered, others simply stared, their concerns unvoiced. The comm feed from the dying dredger report a singular message broadcast toward the Coronas cluster. Retreat. Retreat. Others may wonder, but you know deep inside that you beheaded the beast, the other dredgers won't be coming back. Somehow you don't feel like the victor. You stand silent and ask yourself one question. Have you defeated a dangerous enemy or buffed a potential ally? Xeno extracts technologies available for, us, for research with a 50% cost reduction, gain a new technology, microfusion. So the thing I was already working on, it just got beelined, by the way. And we had, a, this is, let's see, 50, so 100 electronics, 100 rare metals uh, became available for taking care of that. And going to research here, here's the Xeno... Extraction, water, concrete, metals, and rare metals extractors get 50% bonus production. I'll queue that up at the bottom of this. Now that done, also queue up prefab prefab. With the amount of electronics I have, this actually is a good time to put the Omega Telescope into play. Um, the mystery is complete. So now it's a matter of terraforming this planet. I have got a long, bleeping way to go. And I do think that, actually before, before I do the... Um, Before you make a telescope, I need to get the elevator built up. So I want to kind of do it. Kind of want to have it very close, kind of close to this. So, okay, you know what I got to do here? That looks right. So I'm trying to figure out, just make sure that these edge ones are just kind of hugging it. Or just a little bit wider than this. We'll go here. Put some shuttle hubs down. And drone hub. Yeah, we're in the range of this drone hub. You're gonna this one's gonna get most likely a dedicated drone hub. And also there's a water deposit and a rare metals extractor it'll be able to utilize. But whatever I want build from it, I want the train tracks to go around it. That's kind of the big thing with this. Let's zoom out here and just reset my ca camera. There we go. Alright, set a drone hub there. I'm gonna probably triple scrubber this guy. And I don't think these ones can actually touch each other unless they're like right up inside the thing, which is another reason I'm not super duper concerned about it. Alright, gonna bring this can bring this guy out here. And we are gonna okay, nice. The nanites are actually doing their job with this one. I'm gonna prioritize the drone hub first. No, I'm not. It's going to be moot point because the elevator needs to get built also. All right. Uh, shuttle load, heavy problem. Uh, that's totally fine. We're going to be addressing it with these guys. Also, compact hangers. Do I have you yet? No, I don't. Uh-oh. I got stuff that needs to be researched first. So, or stuff I'm prioritizing um, for that. I'm going to ignore that. Um, meteor storm, or dust storm is starting, which is going to be a bit of a problem because I've got nothing being delivered up this way. Let's also get a uh, large... Large uni depot up here. Give me a four. Has died. How's so? Oh, wow. It's literally a colonist struck by lightning. 
I just had a fuel explosion, so that's a big problem for me too. Let's get that large universal depot built up. I was not expecting to have a lightning strike kill a colonist. And, um, anybody have that on the bingo card for the day? Alright, running a little lean on water, but that's totally fine because I have this guy. Yeah, got this one water guy who's just doing all the work. Very helpful too when you start thickening up the atmosphere. I can start uh, doing some terraforming stuffs. Okay, we're also going to go do this to increase and actually get more stuff delivered. I will request probably 50 of each over here. Let's actually increase the priority on this guy. Do I have any metal down here? Research That's a complete. question. No, I don't. Okay. Transport route. Metals. Down here. A colonist has died. Jesus. Okay, new rule. Nobody goes outside for the next three days. I, I've, I've never... I, I legit, in all my hours of playing this game, I've never seen multiple deaths from lightning strikes in a gameplay. That's new to me. So I'm a little, I'm, it's a little disconcerting. Is that like these colonists are just dropping like flies as soon as they step outside, boop, done. Yeah, we're doing medals for everything right now. So it's really important that hey, hey gets his shit going. All right, we're gonna request 50 of everything over here once this dust storm ends and I, right. Where are you guys coming down? Oh shit, they're actually pretty close to where I'm building stuff. Um, Definitely also need to get some MDSs over here too. I'm actually doubling up the MDSs on this guy because of the my R642s on that. I'm doubling up just because of the importance of this structure and to the infrastructure of the colony. Okay, that one's got protection from this guy here. That's good. Granted, it's a temporary concern, but also if you get a lot of meteors coming out in one area, it's kind of a moot point because it has to be done up. All right, we're delivering the metals over here. That's fine. As long as it's not being taken over the train, we're okay. All right, MDS Meteor is coming online. Incoming. Show me. We're okay. As long as this guy doesn't get blasted, we're good. But as soon as something pops up near him, I'm absolutely going to be moving him out of the way. I'll probably bring him back as soon as it says, like, anomaly scanned or anomaly analyzed. I guess you might get the hell out. Anomaly analyzed. It's a mid-level one. That's good. I will yield that the capture meteors event is a good thing for the um, uh, I'm waiting for fuel over here. Crap. That's an issue with power. Um. Where's it going here? Give me a second. Nope, lost. Train of thought's gone. Not gonna. I'm not even gonna try to get that one back. You guys are up and running. You're up and running too. Let's go ahead and max you out, please. Okay, cool. They're actually now getting each other de dusted. That's helpful. I could probably put something down in this area too. Meteor incoming. Show me. No longer care. That's really what it's really just the long and short of it. If it's not actually impacting the colony, I'm not worried about where the meteors are coming down. Alright, Blue Lantern was built this video, and I think I'll take care of that in the next video, try to get that up and running, because the space elevator's a bit of an importance to me right now. Um we're waiting on everything actually. All the parts are missing. But now that this is oh, now that this dust storm's no, it doesn't mean a storm. Never mind. But the dust storm's slowly wrapping up. Where is he? Where is he dumping this stuff off? It really feels like the metals are not being delivered efficiently here. I'm gonna see if I if I change a little bit if they get to moved over here instead. Yeah, and these guys will not get to each other, unfortunate. So we'll need to do a little bit of electronics maintenance on this stuff. 
But the big thing is it's going to be keeping this guy from getting dusted. That's the, the main concern. All right, waiting on electronics over here. I'm waiting on everything right now. I'm a little, I, mean, I admit I'm actually getting a little frustrated with the train station, is that this stuff's not being sent. Like, this place is loaded. No, it's not. What the hell is going on here? Send by train, send by train. Let's actually load this up and actually allow stuff to get the hell off this platform. Very weird. You have n nine drones assigned to you? Hang on. That explains so much of what's going on here. Alright, try this again. Uh, Alright, we got a little bit of unemployment in Seeing Wind. We got a little bit of unemployment in Twilight Garden. Look at that. A lot of students and a actually no geniuses so far. Marsh University. Wow, we only actually need one engineer. Okay, that works kind of in my favor. In that we can probably do extra shifts in factories. Um, we're going to start off by doing an extra shift here into the Hawking Institute. Lightning strike. Now to see his maintenance. This guy's been hit, but these drones, I think, have all been struck by lightning several times already, too. Loving it. I was hoping to get this built up at the end of this video, but it's not happening right now because Hey Hey is doing his Hey Hey thing. And I don't think he's... Where the hell... There's a road. There's a road next to the train tracks. Just take the freaking road. <sighs> okay. Open a cut in here. That way uh, we can get this... Done it in a timely fashion. Also, I no longer trust my computer. If my UPS is still acting up, I gotta go find a battery for it. That's gonna be an arm and a leg to replace. But for now, like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.